Is it a sin if I get baptized twice? It is a sin if you get baptized twice with the same baptism. But nobody in his rightful mind will give you two baptisms, neither we. We will not baptize a, a member twice. I hope you understand my, my point, brother. Maybe you mean to say that you were already baptized in another church. You now want to be baptized in this church. You cannot call it baptism twice, no. Because the former baptism you received is fake. It's not counted. Anything fake is not counted. Any service that falls under the commandments of man is vain, according to 7.7 of Mark. Let us read. How be it in vain do they worship me, teaching for doctrines the commandments of men? If what you have received is from the commandments of man, even your worship is vain. Even your baptism is vain. Everything you do in a church wherein the commandments of men are employed, therefore, those are in vain. You cannot even count them to be real baptism. So you cannot count that you have already received one baptism. If your baptism that you have received is fake, it is not genuine. The genuine baptism is the baptism taught by the Bible. And it must be officiated by somebody who has the authority to baptize another person. Like John the Baptist. Not everybody is allowed by God to be a baptizer. You must know that truth, brother. Not everybody can be a baptizer. Let us look into the Bible. Who can baptize people? In the book of Matthew chapter 28, verse 19 and 20, it says, Go ye therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost, teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you. And lo, I am with you always, even unto the end of the world. You will see there in these two verses, the clear teaching as to who can baptize another person, who can be instruments of God in officiating baptism to other people. It is clear in that verse, the, the Lord Jesus Christ speaking to his disciples, the 11 disciples, he said, teach all nations, baptizing them. Teach all nations, baptizing them. The word teach there comes first before baptism. Teach all nations, baptizing those that were taught in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. What are you going to teach? Teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you. So you have to be capable of teaching all the commandments of Christ in its completeness, in its entirety. Who have the authority to baptize is somebody that can teach all the commandments of Christ. But if you were baptized in a church wherein you have not received the full knowledge of the commandments of Christ, your baptism is fake. Because the person that was given by Christ the authority to baptize are the persons, the very same persons which he commanded to teach and teaching all things whatsoever I have commanded you. So, a person that has the authority to baptize a believer is a person who has the capacity to teach all the things that were commanded by the Lord Jesus Christ, like the apostles. But if the preacher who baptized you uh, lacks in the knowledge of the commandments of Christ and were not able to teach you all the teachings of the Lord Jesus Christ, then he has no authority whatsoever to baptize. The baptism being officiated by these persons are fake. They are not counted by God. So there is no such thing as being baptized twice. If you submit yourself to baptism unto this church, it is the first time that you will receive the true baptism. Because the former baptism that you have received in whatsoever denomination you, you receive it is not counted. Uh, teaching... Uh, service to God in the ways of man nullifies everything that you do. 
The Lord said, they worship me in vain because they are teaching for doctrines and commandments of men. I hope you understand. Whether the teaching of God may be bitter or sour or sugary or sweet, you have to accept all the teachings of Christ, incorporate them in your being, and you will be saved. Listen as Brother Ellie teaches the true doctrines of our Lord Jesus Christ. Unadulterated, unparalleled. If we love God, we will obey His commandments. We will not just listen to the commandments and let it go. No. If we really love God, we have to obey His commandments. We invite everyone to our ongoing mass indoctrination. Visit us at L123 Paraku Estate, Anivom Court Community 15, Sakumono Tema, Ghana, Africa. Or at number 200-6, Apia Junction, Kaswa, Central Region, Ghana, Africa. For inquiries, you may call us or send us an email.